Hey everybody, it's Dave here, Holiday for Two. I hope you're having a good day and a good week. And you know, it's kind of funny. I, if you take a look behind me, you'll probably maybe make a guess about what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. No, I'm not getting ready to go camping. <laughs> I am getting ready to go. I have a need for the water. And so I am getting my boat ready to go to the lake tomorrow and I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna go up to Lake Pleasant and spend the day on the lake. And the plan is to take some drone shots of a place that we like to go to and show you some footage of a place we go to called Honeymoon Cove. So let's get ready to take and spend a day at the lake. Sound like fun? Let's go. But I can take a holiday and spend some time with you. Try hard to take some time away have a peaceful day or two so someday when my ship comes in i know just what we'll do we'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two we'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two Pleasant. Just getting our boat ready. So they give you a little spot here where you can make ready and then you go down here to the boat ramp. And it's like a Wednesday, so there's only what not that many people here today. On weekends this place will get packed. On the weekends this parking lot will be packed on the weekends. It's a beautiful day. It's probably 93 out here right now. Watch in the water, it's nice. All right, so the plan is we're gonna get the boat ready, launch the boat, just run around a little bit on the lake. Maybe take some pictures. Put the drone up a little bit. I thought it'd be kind of fun to put the drone up a little bit. Then we're gonna go find a spot to pull in and uh, just get in the water. Just getting it ready. Lunch. Looks like we got everything ready. All right. Gotta remember to check the boat plug. Nope, oh, it's not in. So if you don't do this one, when you don't go out, but once every couple months or a month or two, you might forget something. Just put a little gas in it. So. All right.
Hey everybody. We are at, we're at Lake Pleasant of course, but this place is called Honeymoon Cove. And the lake right now is pretty full. As you can see, it's almost up to the shoreline here. And <laughs> it seems like everywhere we go, somebody's been camping and decided to leave trash. Somebody was out here camping. I guess probably had a boat or a pontoon boat or something. I don't know. Left a, a cushion. Left a cushion and a bag of trash. At least I th assume that's trash. It looks like, yeah, that's trash. That left. And of course we have our donkeys that have been here. Now, this is actually a donkey trail back here that comes around uh, the side of the, as you can see, let me show you. Donkey signs, of course. This is the lakeside. Then on the, if you go over the ridge right there, that's where you come around to the cove here. It's kind of nice little spot. We like this spot because we've been back here before. Get like a little beach area right here. When the lake is full, you'll have water come up on one side and water come up on the other. And then you just makes a nice little area here where you can put chairs out and stuff. That's probably why somebody pitched a tent right here. It's a nice little tent spot. This is like a little donkey trail back here. I think the donkeys come around this way. Gotta watch the trees here. There we go. There's a little trail here. It actually goes around quite a ways. Gotta watch some of these things. Ow! These little suckers hurt. But this, hey, there's a bird right there. A couple birds. But this little trail goes around. And I'll see if I can find the rest of it. it. Goes up and around. Goes over. And then it goes down. Along the side of the lake right there. Oh, somebody's out on a little raft. Funny thing is, I don't know if I can zoom in with this. There should be a way to zoom in. Oh, this darn GoPro. I love the picture of the GoPro, but the Osmo action is so much easier to work with sometimes. But the picture on the GoPro, I really like the colors and everything. So I don't know. Maybe you have a preference. Those of you out there who use different kinds of cameras, The Osmo Action to me is just easier to work with. The GoPro has little funny things that it does weird things. Sometimes it'll shut off right in the middle of the recording. I never have figured that out. I'm watching my step here. Let me show you. That's why I'm looking down. It's like, oh, I only have these weird little boat shoes on. Not really good hiking shoes. <laughs> These are not really good hiking shoes, but they do in a pinch. I go over here. Here we go. Now we're on the lakeside. Oh yes. It's just a beautiful day. It's like maybe 102, right? 102 right now temperature wise maybe 103 but the air's dry so you don't when you get in the water and you get out of the water it's cold so you don't really feel the heat I don't really feel hot right now like I'm not sweating I'm actually very comfortable 
when I get in the water, the water just feels cold. But then after you're in it for about a minute, then it feels nice. For those of you that don't know where I'm at, we're at Lake Pleasant, just uh, about 30 miles north of Phoenix. And uh, this is part of the uh, Central Arizona Project water and the Agua Fria feeds in the uh, Agua Fria River feeds into the north part of Lake Pleasant and then they use this water for irrigation in Phoenix Glendale basically the Phoenix Valley years ago this lake years and years ago this lake was a lot smaller and then probably around the 1970s and 80s they had built a new dam the Waddell Dam and raised the level of this lake up oh about 75 feet and increase the size of it about three times the size. That's about all the history I know about Lake Pleasant. Oh my gosh. It's like this is a popular spot, I think, for people to pull up their boat and sleep overnight. But really, people, it's like beer bottles. <laughs> and those of you who watch me know I hate trash. And all we have in the boat, I don't even have any trash bags in the boat. Next time I bring trash bags, I guess. This is crazy. They left a big bag of trash. But, get this. They did leave an offering. I'll show you. Let me go around. They did leave something for me. I guess as a way of saying, please take our trash. <laughs> they left a big bag of water over here. And I mean, this is like... That's only half used. So, that's coming with me. I got my little beach house here. My little Tommy Bahama chairs. Tammy's over there in the water. She's enjoying the water, looking for, I don't know, rocks. Oh yes, yeah, she's been collecting rocks. Let me show you. Oh, look at this. We got a nice stick here. Yeah, that's nice. Let's throw that up there. She's been collecting rocks. Oh, she picked them all up. She must have put them away somewhere. Oh, oh there they are. Here's her rocks. There's Tammy's rocks. All of her rocks. And it's it's cold. Get in the water and it's like cold. But it feels so good. I'm about to get back in the water because it's really after you get out for a while, then it feels warm, then you want to get back in. The water's probably about what would you say, 82 degrees? Okay. Um, hey. <laughs> <I didn't do> that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think I'd advertise that. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's the life. It's nice in the shade. Get in the water, get wet, and just make sure you have lots of sunscreen on. That's important. That's why I wear this hat. It's kind of a, it's a pretty cool. I got this hat at Costco. It's supposed to have stuff in the hat that repels mosquitoes. I'll believe that, right? Port Authority. No fly zone. Yeah, it says no fly zone. Insect repellent technology. All right. I don't like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes don't like me. When we were at, uh, just a week ago, when we were up at um, Schneveli Hill, my legs were getting eaten by mosquitoes. 
have to remember to put uh, spray that off on my legs because they just were eating me alive. There. Wow. Probably when the water drops down, then they use that fire ring. <laughs>